Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of bringing Enzo back into work. I think it's currently like the 9th or 10th of Jan. Um, I've been off work so I'm kind of losing the dates at the moment. All I know is that it's a Saturday and um, so yeah it's the first day. Enzo has been off for five, six weeks in total now on spell. He's had unlimited access to two massive payrolls, the lucky boy. And, and no, he's put on a little bit of weight, which I'm really stoked about. I really want him to kind of put on a little bit more weight for this season. I know he kind of dropped off the end of last year. And I guess if they're traveling a lot to shows and competing and under a really heavy workload, sometimes that happens. And because he's an off the track thoroughbred, I really want him to try and keep that weight on. So I'm going to have a little bit of a diet review this year. And if you guys would like to see what I feed Enzo this year, just let me know in the comments down below. He's going to come over and say hi. So the plan for today is I'm going to just put him in a round yard and see how we go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Ow. <laughs> Got some breakfast on me, thank you. Let's go. So all in all, while he's been on spell, he's lost two shoes. <laughs> he's only got front ones on at the moment, um, just because we're trying to make him have a bit more heel. So no injuries, thank goodness. You know, there hasn't been any major storms here in WA, which is good. So, but yeah, he's just a little ribby again. Gonna, I'm so excited to get a new feed rolling with him just to try and yeah make him put on a little bit more weight. Oh no, being tied up again. Should we take it off so you can see? The flies aren't too bad this morning actually, buddy. Oh my god, you're so dusty. <laughs> I've been taking his fly mask off every time I come out just to make sure that I'm not getting too much dust in there and trying to clean the fly mask as much as I can. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, Alright, so he's looking a little bit straggly, but that's okay. We've been on spell. <laughs> um, his mane is so long and thick and um, I'm going to give him... Sorry, that's just him wind sucking a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna give him a bit of a curry comb and use a hard bristle and then like a soft bristle brush just to see if we can get like all the dust out and we'll just see if we can make his coat a bit more shiny. So this is just the rubber curry comb that I use. I think I got it from the stock feeds for a couple of dollars. That was great, that was a tail. Did you see that? Slow-mo that. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna go in circular motions all over his body just to try and lift all that dirt out. the next brush I swear I could have curry combed all day but this is just a Lemieux heritage like long black bristle oh, brush <laughs> it's already dusty I'm going to use my other Lemieux Heritage brush. This is just a really lovely soft one. I find that it kind of helps bring out that shine without you having to use all of your shine sprays. So I'll just finish off with this one today. That 
is the brushing pretty much done. I could have brushed him, I swear, for like an hour to be able to get everything out, but that'll do for today. I'm next going to brush his mane. Um, I know it's really thick and we will probably pull it in preparation for the first show, but at the moment I'm not too worried about it. I will probably give it a decent chop once I actually start riding him again. Um, but for today, we're just gonna brush it and try and maintain the mane. <laughs> that itch. Oh, there it is. Oh, did I get it? I... Oh, that's an itch. Did I get it? <laughs> right. All right, so that is Enzo groomed. I'm now gonna put him in the round yard. I am so excited to see how he will behave. As I've said, you know, he's been on spell for five, six weeks now. I feel like he'll go one of two ways. He'll either be really chilled or he's gonna be quite crazy. So I'm really curious to see how we will go. Oh, we're already getting a bit excited. I know, I know. All right, well, let's take him in there. <laughs> able to see but he's just breaking a little bit of a sweat um so i'm just making sure that he's having a little bit of a rest time before i you know get him going again good boy he's bringing his head down low and oh he's got an ear which is i've said before but it's really nice to see um the flies are annoying him though but we'll just do one more trot each way and then we might call it a day but we've also had a couple of bean moments we've had a couple of you know explosions if you'd like to call it that they haven't been too crazy though they didn't buck or anything just threw his head and went off in a bit of a canter but overall i'm pretty impressed with how he's going so far
giving him a nice cool down. Hey, buddy. Just playing with his Libro. It's just having a great time, aren't you, bud? <laughs> Alright, that's Enzo all cooled off, but now it's time for my most favourite part, as you guys would know, about giving the ponies a bath. Scraping. Love that for me. <laughs> I mean bite them. No, that doesn't mean bite them. You look pretty good on this side. All right, and last but not least, fly spray, as these flies were annoying him. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm going to leave the video here. I know it wasn't probably the most interesting one for you guys to watch, but I guess I really want to document um, our eventing season from beginning to end. And that does include, you know, the lunging and all those sorts of things. And I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. But for this first lunging session and first day of bringing Enzo back into work, I'm really impressed with him. Really happy. I probably need to improve my lunging technique though, to be honest. But we'll get there. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you really did enjoy this video. And I will see you on my next video very, very soon. Bye.